Hello gamers, we're back. Uh, we have confirmed it's gonna be Storyteller going up against Abso. Uh, again, this Storyteller is actually a completely new tag to me. Uh, this is not one I've actually seen coming from University of Tennessee before, but granted I've only had the pleasure of uh, commentating University of Tennessee uh, only once or twice in the past. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, who they play. Mm -hmm. They're both going to Final Destination. And yeah, I'm going in blind since I don't know who these characters play. Fingers crossed for Robin. Fingers, fingers crossed for Robin. Fingers crossed, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get if, my hopes up. If, if I do remember correctly, and again, uh, it is still entirely possible that I'm mistaken. Um, Abso, Abso is, is like one of the stronger players on Marys College's roster. Um, I've seen them, you know, quite a bit, you know, this season, both this season and last, uh, in, in the fall. So, it'll be exciting to see them again, exciting to see them game a little bit. Uh, and, and yeah. Just sort of waiting for them to both jump into the arena and get ready. I think they're here, they just still haven't pressed the start button quite yet. And I guess in the meantime, guys, we can just run through a couple of quick reminders. Uh, number one, uh, we're gonna be talking about wellness checks. Guys. You should be hydrating yourselves, keeping yourselves nice. You got, you got to be taking care of yourselves, okay? So I have, I had uh, a glass of water here at some point. We already see Cheryl, you know, on top of it. Not you know. much. Yep, absolutely. That's what you got to do, you know. Uh, so, so we're gonna be in here for quite a while. I know I'm, I'm in it for the long haul. You're only staying with us for like a couple of schools. Uh, but either way, guys. Keep yourselves hydrated at home. You know, go ahead and get yourself a bottle of water. The tier list for acceptable beverages: number one, seltzer; number two, unsweetened number iced tea. Number one is water. Number one is water. Seltzer. Yeah, seltzer. Seltzer is just water, but uh, you know, a little bit spicy with it. That's my beverage of choice. That's what I got to my like for, an for anybody. Angry water. Home. If water could yeah. have emotions, it would be seltzer. It drinks you back. You know, it just like lets you know, like it, yeah, you, you're gonna feel my pain. But with that being said, and we are jumping into the game. Joking. I was so long. I was so incorrect about Abso. I have never been more incorrect about somebody <laughs> in my life. I am. I'm a little. I'm a little goo gaga baby. Oh my goodness. No Story Robin, teller. but you know that's okay. That that's fine. I have I have made a fool of myself once again. Still has the coat, kind of like Robin, just not Robin E. But anyway, starting game one in Final Destination, Abso using Dr. Mario, Storyteller, who already has Joker and already lost the stock. Yeah, Abso's already just looking so confident this game right now. Able just to sort of connect the down B, once again just sort of controlling the ledge. I love that fade back, really catching off to Storyteller's uh, jumping from the ledge. Like, I feel like they're starting to do this quite a bit, but this is definitely where Dr. Mario suffers absolutely, you know. Uh, oh my god. I didn't even intentionally say yeah. absolutely. That, that just kind of came out. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, but yeah, Dr. Mario is so vulnerable offstage, you know? He has a very predictable recovery arc. He, you don't have to be really afraid of him. You can just go down there and throw out a hitbox and more often than not, you just kill him. Mm -hmm. But so far they're spacing each other with um, pills and um, when uh, Storyteller had um, Arsene just using Makarikon. But now they're getting a little closer to one another now that um, Arsene is gone and out of the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, ooh, Abso trying to fish a little bit for that goal into the back throw. Not able to find it quite yet. Able to get the back here. Um, and right now I have to say, Storyteller's corner pressure is so good. Uh, just, just, you know, Abso looks so uncomfortable. Um, but finally finding that back throw, not going to be able to kill quite yet though. Usually, I think those, um, that one in particular would kill off stage. I've seen a bunch of Dr. Mario players um, use the, the the cyclone off stage, and it kills. But getting the up smash, I mean. Oh yeah, no, special. you're absolutely right. That move cheats. You ever, you ever been killed by thirty percent at thirty percent by that move? Thinking. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't feel good, you know? It, it cheats, absolutely. Uh, you can, like, set stuff up off of down throw, off of back killing, like, back hit uppers. But Abso doesn't seem to actually be willing to commit to those right now. But right now, Storytell has to find a way out of the corner. Really good use of Aegon, just to sort of give themselves a little bit of coverage. But, again, uh, Abso just doing a really good job. Um, wow, you know. that um, up B. And then landing on um, the ledge to avoid getting the up smash from uh, Arsene was actually great. Very smart. 
such so a good weight. That that weight from Solutella was excellent. It was spaced beautifully to be able to whiff punish that getup attack. It tried to go for the down again. This is such a dangerous position to be in. Uh, Obso trying to go for it all, not able to find anything quite yet. Really looking for like a spot dodge up B, but that down B. Not going to be able to take it quite yet. That is a move that has so much base knockback, but it really doesn't scale with percent all that much. And that down throw is not going to be able to do it quite yet. The next hit from Storyteller should, but that is a Dr. Mario with so much rage. Um, you know, 80% early, and that would not have killed at 180 to 100%. You know, back throw is one of the most potent moves uh, that he has. I mean, when I first, um, like, Dr. Mario, just without any knowledge of Dr. Mario, you don't think some of these moves would kill so early, um, especially the Cyclone that cheats and kills at 30 off stage. It, it, it cheats, right? Like, <laughs> like, you've been, like, you've been hit by that, right? You, yes, you've been I hit have. by it. You know the pain and suffering. You, you get, you get hit by that and you're like, man, why? Why is that the case? Why does that move do that? Um, it just, it just kind of gets you thinking a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um. And but Obso, oh, uh, you were saying? Oh, you can go. Uh, Obso, for the most part of that game, I uh, just feel like they did a really good job of just like, keeping Storytellers locked in the corner. Uh, you know, the corner pressure was so good. The ledge traps were really, really solid. Um, you know, those two aspects of play from Obso were just completely on point. And the only st stock that Storyteller was able to get, you know, was when they did have Obso offstage. That's usually the name of the game when you're fighting against Dr. Mario. He feels like a high tier when he's on stage. You throw him off and then you're like, oh, so, so that's why he sucks. You know, because uh, because he can't do much. You know, he has to commit to to really slow and and stubby recovery options. Mm -hmm. And um, Dr. Mario, I feel like his offstage game is a double-edged sword because some of the moves, some of his moves, can kill really easily offstage, but at the same time, will get him killed. Yeah, definitely. Uh, everything that he does out there, he has to commit to. Uh, he doesn't do good off of the corner. He, you know, if he's coming back from deep. You know, obviously he has down B as a recovery option as well in addition to his double jump, but he's so vulnerable. He's more often than not just going to be a sitting duck for anybody just to get out there and hit him for it. I think currently right now they're going to choose Battlefield. You know, their poses are exactly the same. Their jackets are just reversed in color. Wait, uh... Their poses are exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Mario should... Dr. Mario is looking like an anime protagonist right now. Oh my goodness, I, ne I, I never really looked at that before. But yeah, he's, he's, you know, he definitely looks a little a little too confident just kind of standing there right now. I like the way that Abso is playing. They're shielding in really good positions right now. Um, and just sort of discouraging from Storyteller to go for, you know, any, any uh, A hazard dash attacks at that range. And starting with a classic Joker combo, and um, but getting to the the bottom layer and not with the platforms. Oh wow! Just connecting that forward. That move is so strong. Has so much knockback to it. Storyteller really smart to save and wait the double jump. You know, sometimes it's okay to take the hit. So as long as you make it back onto the stage, either way. Right now, Storyteller trying to mix up the movement with these dashes and jumps. That was kind of smooth. You know, I think they definitely had the right idea with it, but ah, so deep. I have to say, excellent taste in stage music. Whoever picked this, you know, they're kind of goaded. But both of them leaving, um, having their distances, catching up with a dash attack. And Ooh, I've never actually seen Uppy as a um, ledge guard option, so that's kind of interesting. Wait, I'm Storyteller just trying to get their way back onto the stage, finds their way out of the corner, finds that up smash, but so close to being able to kill. Not quite yet, though. Tries to go for the grab, but a little bit too late on the execution. Had the right idea with it. Ah, uh, but that was a really good mix up from up, so, um, you know, Storyteller just had to be able to position themselves a little bit better, going so deep. Wow. He just yeah. chased him. Mm -hmm. As you said before about the committing. Yeah, like like any other character, they would have been able to get that spike and make it back. But fortunately, for Storyteller uh, still is able to, you know, just so you to find a stock um, as a byproduct of that situation. 
who were able to find the rising back here. Not going to be able to catch up with platform landing with an up smash quite yet. Good patience from Storyteller. And they thought that the up tilt would still be able to scoop, but that move more so is going to be your platform pressure or your anti air option. Uh, you know, so Upso was just like spaced a little bit too far back. And the question is like, how do they get back onto the stage right now? Ooh, just missing with the up smash. But maybe we'll get it off stage. I know, but our scent is gone. Just leaving, keeping distance between themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're both keeping distance between themselves for running up with a um, some sort of projectile, whether it be uh, Aeon or Pills. Ooh, Storyteller looking to be able to get something there, uh, but not able to find it quite yet. Is that down throw going to be able to do it? Not even on the platform it will. That's not really a kill throw until like about 180, and even then, Battlefield, you have to be so cognizant of, uh, you know, that high ceiling. Gosh, the next hit should be able to do it. Such an excellent... Oh boy. Oh buddy. Oh, so close. Love that patience. That Ooh. patience was excellent. They had the right idea, but they pressed the button a little bit too late. Tries to go through the pill and sit down. And, uh, Aegon not going to be able to kill quite yet, but that next one definitely will do the job. Oh, jeez. Cool, buddy. And will that take with the down the back throw? Yes. Well, down through the back throw. Uh, what if, what, you know, Dr. Mario, 200%, he really should not be alive. That back throw. Ooh, I, I don't know how to feel about that DI. I have someone who's been really good at reading um, Storyteller's um, roles with the previous stock and in this one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, it's just like it's just like really, really solid play. You know, Opso is just sitting there really patiently, uh, more often than not waiting. And that's like what's happening. Opso is standing there. Opso is like, hey, I know you feel pressured. I know you're feeling uncomfortable in this position. Uh, and so Opso is like going through dash back, grab back through, dash back, grab back through. Um, and honestly, if somebody has a going habit, that's the best way to call it out. A mm -hmm. lot of people, they think that, you know, they'll be able to sort of fight their way back onto the center stage by constantly going through cross up roles, but that can become quite a devastating habit. It leaves you so vulnerable. But with that being said, that means Abzo is going to be the victor who takes this game so confidently to uh, bring the score count all the way to 14 for Marist College to 11 University of Tennessee. Um, it is not often that we actually see, you know, the point differentials between the two schools being like so small. You know, usually it's like um, a lead is established really dominantly and confidently early on. Um, so this next set is gonna, you know, define who takes the W-Wubby. You know? And either or can go, because, um, 